guys, Clint Crabtree here from uh, GRBJJ, Team Carlson Gracie. Uh, I've seen a lot of stuff on the internet and people coming in asking me how to tie a belt. And so I just wanted to put something out there. There are a couple different ways of tying a belt and you should end up with a, a similar knot, just tied differently. The way we do it here at Carlson Gracie, you want to make it uh, equal length and you always want to start with your patch. It doesn't matter if it's a white patch, uh, red patch. You want to start with it on your heart side, right? Now this is going to be different, a lot of different ways of doing it. This is just the way we do it here at Team Carlson Gracie, okay? Put the middle of your belt in your belly button. Keep your belt straight. You don't want it to twist around on you. You're going to go all the way around your body and back around front, right? Now you're going to take your patch side, the one in your right hand, you're going to lay it across your belly. Left hand, non-patch side, goes over the top and back over your patch belt, right? So it should look like one belt here, right? Try and keep it uh, on top of each other and try and keep it from twisting, right? Now the one that's on top, you see that your belt is, has a couple different layers. The layer that's on top, you want to go underneath everything and back on top and you should be in this uh, situation here. Now, kind of the uh, easiest way to do this now is just take the patch, fold it over, and the non-patch side goes over the top, down and underneath everything, and you make your belt, right? And now your patch should end up on your non-heart side, on your right-hand side, right? Again, don't worry about if you're on another team or if you tie it a different way. Some people want their patch on their heart side. That's fine. It's just a different way of doing it. All right? So that's how we do it there. That's uh, what I would call an old school way. It's a basic knot. Um, some people complain, and I'm one of them, that when I tie my belt that way, it comes untied a lot. So we're going to do a different knot, and it's going to look similar, but it stays tied uh, a little bit longer, a little bit more difficult to come untied. Same thing, find the middle of your belt, start with your patch on your heart side, middle of your belt goes in your belly button, keeping your belt straight, go around your body, come back around in front, all right? Make sure your belt's not twisted, take your patch, lay it over your belly, non-patch side goes over the top and back onto the other side, all right? The one that's hanging on your right hand side, one that's on top goes underneath everything and back on top. Now what I like to do is separate these two uh, uh, pieces of belt here and go through them and leave a little bit of a loop here. Take my patch, come up and down through and then pull it tight. You still end up with your patch on your non heart side. If you start with it on your left side, it'll end up on your right side. If you start on your right side, it'll end up on your left side. This knot, similar to the first one we just did, but now it's kind of locked in. Some people might call it a square knot or a version of a square knot, but it stays tight. Uh, it stays tied, a little bit harder to come untied. Um, some people like to use it in uh, matches. Some people like to use it for training so they're not having to tie their belt a lot. Uh, depends on how you like to compete. If you like to have, take time and tie your belt, you might not want to use this. If you don't like to, uh, if you want to push the pace and you know your, your uh, opponent doesn't have good uh, cardio, you might want to keep your belt tied you can keep pushing the pace. If you like your patch ended up on your heart side, like I said, there's uh, it's just a personal preference or team preference. Same thing, you're going to find the middle of your belt. Make sure your gi is folded correctly, left over right. Find the middle of your belt, put it in your belly button, making sure you start with your patch on your right side so it ends up on your heart side, on the left side. Go around, make sure you keep it from twisting, you may want to make it look like it's one belt here, on both sides. Right hand, bring it over the top, left hand goes back over the top. So your patch should be on your right hand side, goes underneath, back on top. Now depending on which knot you like, if you like the basic traditional knot, just non-patch side, you're just going to turn it over, patch goes on top, underneath, pull it tight. If you like the, the knot that I showed you, the kind of square knot, once you get here, you're going to open up these two 
um, pieces of belt like we showed in the close-up. Go over the top, go through. When you go over the top and through, you want to make sure you leave. You don't want to go over the top and through between the uh, belt, the tail of the belt, and the top belt. You want to let that hang and go just between the two belts, not over the, the tail. Now the tail is going to come up and over, back through, pull it tight, and that's how you would do your knot, uh, the square knot, with your patch on your heart side. Up to you. Um, that's how we tie it. Oh,